A man who studies white supremacist groups says they have become emboldened to go public with their views. And in Oregon, their history goes back to when the state was first formed. It was partially why we've seen clashes at local protests between anarchists and these white nationalists. Our Nina Melhoff talked with one of those experts who says Charlottesville and our local violence all stems from change. Nina? Yeah, Chris, sociology professor Randy Blazak says it's the fear that white men are losing their power that founded this country. They see America changing too fast with gay marriage, transgender bathrooms, and immigrants. And it's their last chance to regain control while they feel they have a friend in the president. And they've been existing online for the last eight or ten years, and now they're kind of feeling emboldened enough to come out on the streets. Professor Randy Blazak has been busy on CNN Saturday talking about Charlottesville and to us today on how Oregon fits into this national trend. Well, Oregon has a long history. I mean, it was founded as a white-only state in 1859. We had the exclusion laws that existed through the 20th century. We've had hate groups here. The, the Klan ran Oregon, including the governor's office in the 1920s. I mean, it's a, it's a part of our history and helps explain why Portland and Oregon in general is so white. Blazak says white nationalist is just a new name for white supremacist. They want to keep America in white power and he sees their movement growing. As they make their case and as they have more confrontations with people who they perceive as their enemies, including when they're beaten up by people and that adds to their story that they're the victims of history, they're going to pick up more followers. And Patriot Prayer have always preached peace and have always preached love a hundred percent of the time. Joey Gibson's group Patriot Prayer has been picking up followers too. The 33-year-old Vancouver real estate investor started out organizing pro-Trump rallies in 2016 and has now morphed into what he calls a moderate libertarian. I'm trying to encourage people to stand up for what they believe in, whatever it is. But Patriot Prayer has been criticized for attracting known white supremacists to Portland who fight anti-fascists on the other extreme. A minority himself, Gibson says he doesn't support either group. I'm just against identity politics. I want to bring together everyone and I don't want to focus on race. I don't want to focus on that and we don't need the extremists on both sides. You know, we don't need Antifa, we don't need all those communists, we don't need, you know, the extreme hardcore right, we don't need that, you know. The, 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 the moderates are the ones that always, that run this country, that build our culture. And to team up to either side is going to be, it's going to be a huge problem because the extremists are always trying to divide us. Patriot Prayer will be hosting a Freedom March September 10th in downtown Portland. Joey Gibson says it's in line with the anniversary of September 11th and will be a somber gathering to promote peace and a healthy dialogue.